What's going on YouTube? Uh, here's another project that I got. Uh, here's my 1995 Honda Civic Si. I'm trying to get it smogged, but the uh, check engine light keeps coming on. Um, now I scanned it using a uh, OBD1 adapter and it pointed to the vehicle speed sensor so I think it was like code code 17 or something like that now the speed sensor is right there right there um, I've already replaced this it's the the top portion the electronic part um, this is the old unit I'm thinking uh, maybe this cheap part that I bought on eBay uh, is not working uh, as well as an original part now um, I'm gonna take it out and then put my old unit back on uh, like I said this is this is just the top electronic part of it there's also a uh, a shaft that's um, attached at the bottom that's uh, based on my experience that's the one that's uh, always been the case the problem with speed sensors and uh, it's causing my speedometer to jump erratically while I'm driving so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace this to see if that would fix the problem if not then I just assume that it's the it's the shaft underneath the, yeah the little shaft gear underneath and uh, this one is pretty easy to change out um, It's just what two, two ten millimeter bolts, right there, and then the wiring, wiring clip. Where is it? Okay. So. After unplugging that, I just take out the ten millimeter bolts. I should have got a longer extension. Let me get another, let me get another extension. I'm trying to do this one handed so you guys are gonna have to just stay put
All right, so this is what the the part looks like. I bought this one. I bought that on eBay. So it also has a pin like that. So what I did was I installed the um, the pin first on the tranny or on that shaft, and then I'm gonna put this thing on. Okay, now I'm just gonna put this the two ten millimeter bolts back on. See if you guys can see that right there. Just a little bit. see uh we'll start the car and let's see if i still get the same check engine light this real quick. get this away from the battery Now this is the uh, the scanner that I used. And the kit that came with that, it has a uh, adapter for 
the OBD ones right there. All right, so let's start this car real quick. You know what, I think the last time I did this, I uh, I drove this around the block um, before the check engine light came on. So let me go ahead and put this hood down and take it for a, a drive and we'll see what happens. All right guys, I'll be back. All right guys, let's go. Take it for a spin. sensor um, it's also not functioning how it's supposed to be so what I'm just hoping is it works well enough to where I don't get a check engine light so that I can get it um, I can get it smog place is not going to uh can see there's no uh, check engine light on here and um, you know after driving it around the block at least it's it didn't come back on so as long as it doesn't come back on all the way up to the smog shop then I should be good um, the the other one that I just took out that one um, See, there's a, a delay on how this the, the speedometer, and it's still jumping. So the other one that I took out, um, you know, it, this 
the speedometer wasn't even moving at all. And so right when I got around the corner, it already gave me that that warning light, that end check engine light. So hopefully this old one will still hold up one more time. sure it will but all right guys that's it hopefully uh, you guys would be able to s to determine what your issues are with your car if, if it was the same thing that the warning that it's giving you guys but um, as of right now I think this should be a uh, a temporary fix for me. Alright guys.